In systems composed of two or more servers, WiseNet Wave's auto failover feature ensures a minimum of video recording downtime in the event of server failure. In an upcoming demonstration, Server 2 will be the destination for all cameras to fail over to. We're going to set this up by right-clicking on Server 2 and going into the Server Settings. You'll see that failover has already been enabled with a max cameras on this server parameter of 128. It's important to keep in mind that this parameter is a total number of cameras, including both cameras that have been failed over from other servers as well as cameras that are already connected to this server. Any overflow will be ignored by the server until another camera disconnects or moves to a different server. Cameras being moved during a system failover event can be prioritized by entering the failover priority window. Each camera can be selected and prioritized individually or in mass selection. With priorities of never, meaning that a camera selected will never be migrated in the event of a failover situation. Low, meaning that it's the lowest priority camera to be migrated. Medium, and then high, which would make that camera the first camera to be migrated during a failover situation. In this demonstration, We've set cameras connected to server 1 to move to server 2 in the event of a failover situation. As server 1 goes down, all cameras are now moved to server 2. They begin recording immediately after establishing a connection. A few minutes later, when Server 1 comes back online, the cameras automatically connect back to Server 1 and begin recording immediately.